and Minnesota gets the victory. Time to go to the booth now. Welcome in Joe Buck, Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. And Troy, I asked you a question before this game started about how a victory for Minnesota could really change the entire trajectory of their season. But the way they got it, right, Cousins is great. The O-line doesn't give up a sack. The, the, the defense comes up with massive turnovers late. Am I nuts to say that in a bad back of the NFC that you got to take a hard look at Minnesota now and change how you see them? Well, I think you got to look at them a little bit differently. There's no question. I mean, the way their year began wasn't very good. We know they dug themselves a big hole. They've now won three out of four. Coming into this game, not a lot of people were looking at the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, this is something they can definitely build on. The key for them now is will they be able to do that? Understood. And listen, I'm with you. The, the victories they had coming in were against Chicago and Carolina. So there wasn't a whole lot to lean into. If a game like this given what their schedule is, and you look at Minnesota, I think, perhaps differently. And, Joe, as for San Francisco, I don't think we look at them differently, do we? We know they're really good, but now they've lost a couple in a row. And, then you know, Philadelphia keeps winning, and you just don't want to put yourself in a spot where all of a sudden you're, you're behind somebody in the NFC. I just, how, how do these last couple of games frame how you see them? Well, I, I think they really miss Tebow tonight. It sounds like excuses, but those are big pieces to the puzzle. So I, I don't look at them that differently. I think we all need to be reminded that it's a small sample size of work for Brock Purdy. It's not going to be perfect. He got off to that 10 and 0 start. Now he's 10 and 2 right. in the regular season. He's lost back to back games. But, you know, he, he let a couple of balls get away from him tonight. I think generally he played pretty well, uh, well enough to win. They didn't win and they're on the road. And, and now uh, we'll see where they go from here. But I, I still think they're elite. Uh, they're a tough team to play against, and we heard Kirk Cousins talk about it after the game. No sacks. He felt their rush all night, and it took a, a pretty darn good effort all the way around for the Vikings to win here at home. Without a doubt, and that defense turns over Purdy a couple of times in a row, and they, uh, they leave here. I have to be feeling pretty good about things. Joe Troy, look forward to seeing you in Detroit next week, day before Halloween. They've been waiting a long time for a team like this, and a visit from Monday Night Football should be awesome. Can't wait. Yeah, first Monday night game since 2018. It's going to be a lot of fun. Look forward to it. We'll see you there. Travel safely, fellas. All right. See you. Joe Buck, Troy Aikman with us every Monday night here following the call of the game. Minnesota dropped its first three of the season. As Troy was talking about, dug that big hole. Turnover margin of minus seven through those first three. Since then, they've turned it around, winning three of four. And the defense is allowing just 17 and a half points per game.